Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel of the Fence. And uh, I saw a article earlier today. Um, this video might come out in a couple days, so it might be dated a little, little late. But point being, it's an article, uh, and it was about Bernie Sanders bragging that unlike Elizabeth Warren, he is in fact a socialist. He is not a capitalist. And uh, I kind of chuckled to myself because I found it, I found it funny that uh, there's a guy who is leading in the Democratic primaries, running for president of the United States for the second time, who is bragging about his credentials of being a socialist and not being a capitalist. Uh, and he frames it around the fact that capitalism is greedy. Capitalism uh, takes from people. I find that ironic uh, on a couple fronts. One, uh, the Cold War is within living memory, okay? Where we, we were against the socialists and the communists and the Marxists, where those people were seeking the downfall of mankind. Uh, I'll more on that in a moment. And, and we were uh, enemies for the, where the Cold War was like 50 years, 45, 50 years, something like that. Point being, that's just funny that you have a, a politician who lived through that, who now claims to be a socialist. Two, uh, Bernie Sanders is an absolute shyster, right? I mean, the guy uh, owns three houses. He, he's, he's an actual millionaire. Um, so millionaires, <laughs> he's against millionaires and billionaires, but he's one of them. Uh, and then three, most importantly this, socialism is the most greedy political ideology in the history of mankind. Coincidentally, it is also the worst political ideology in the history of mankind. In the 20th century alone, socialism, communism, Marxism, it's all the same thing, they all lead the same place, killed, wait for it, 100 million people. To put that in context, the Holocaust killed about 6 million. World War II, all in, I think killed maybe like, well, probably more like 50. Somewhere between 30 and 50 million, somewhere in there. Let's just say 50, okay? Even then, it's still half of what socialism, communism, Marxism killed, right? Uh, China, under Mao, of course, killing at least 50 million people. Uh, some estimates put it much higher. So, when you, when you start to look at the numbers, and that every time socialism, communism, Marxism, same thing, has been tried, it has failed miserably, resulting in the deaths, often through starvation, of millions of people. So, uh, at this point, there's only a couple people left. There, and what I mean by that is a couple people left who support socialism. There's, there's the, the shyster, right, which I put Bernie in that camp, like the people who know they're manipulating people and keep trying to do that. There's the willfully ignorant, uh, who just, no, man, I've done my research and I know, and it, you know, it just hasn't been tried rightly. You're just willfully ignorant. Like, you've chosen to remain ignorant to, to the data. And then just the plain old ignorant, just the, the people that simply don't know, that have never read a history book. So I would encourage you to read a history book if you're in the ignorant camp. If you're in the willfully ignorant camp, I would also encourage you to read a history book. It's a terrible ideology. It's never worked. There is no logical reason anyone should look at that ideology and say, mm, you know, mm, let's try that again. If I came to you and I said, hey, let's, uh, let's try monarchy again, you'd think I'm insane. But I would rather live under monarchy in a heartbeat than under communism, socialism, Marxism. It will always lead to the death of liberty, followed shortly by the death of millions of people. And I, for one, will not stand for it. Just think, just a little bit, read a history book, Look at the data, do brave deeds, and endure.